In this video, we explain how to perform ETL operations directly on a database in a NIME workflow. The NIME database extension provides a set of nodes for data manipulation, such as DB group by, DB row filter, DB joiner, and many more. Each node comes with a visual user interface and builds a SQL query in the background according to its configuration. So no SQL script is required to interact with the database. Each node features a SQL query in its input port and produces a SQL query in its output port. However, we can still preview the intermediate table at any point, just as we can when NIME data tables are passed from one node to another. Let's have a look at an example workflow where we have contracts data stored in a database table. We want to perform the following data manipulation operations directly on the table. First, calculate the number of records for each product. Second, determine which products occur 1,000 times or less. And third, remove the records for these products from the table. We'll start by selecting the table on this H2 database with the DB table selector node. In the configuration dialog, we can select a table by clicking the Select a Table button. And in the dialog that opens, we see all the tables in the connected database. If we expand a table item, we can see the columns in it as well. In our case, the table of interest is called Web Activity. We select the table, click OK, and execute the node. Before we move on to manipulating this table, Let's have a look at the outputs produced by the database nodes. The output of the DB table selector node, as well as many other DB data manipulation nodes, is of the port type DB data, denoted with the dark red square. This differs slightly from the output port type of a DB connector node, which is of the type DB connection, and is denoted with the red square. The DB connection port only carries the connection information to the database. The DB data port carries a SQL query in addition to the DB connection. When executing a database manipulation node, a tabular representation of the data is not automatically generated as output for NIME. To preview the intermediate table, we open the DB data output of the node, and in the Table Preview tab, we click on this Cache Number of Rows button. This will execute the intermediate SQL query and cache a subset of the output. By default, only the first 100 rows are cached. The DB Query tab shows the SQL query itself. Now, let's continue with data manipulation operations on the selected table directly on the database. Here we aggregate, filter, and join the data, but as you can see in the node repository, there are many more nodes for data manipulation available for binning, partitioning, pivoting, sorting, and so on. The first task is to calculate the number of records for each product. For this operation, we need the DB group by node. The configuration dialog of this node is similar to the configuration dialog of the NIME native group by node. Here we select the products column in the groups tab and customer ID in the manual aggregation tab. In the menu for the aggregation methods, we select count. If we wanted to calculate the number of distinct customers by each product, we would click this edit button here in the parameter column and select distinct in the dialog. Notice though that the available aggregation functions depend on the SQL dialect chosen. Another way of calculating the number of occurrences by each group would be to check this Add Count Star option here below. We click OK and preview the output table. Here we see that all products except CO Investment occur at least 1,000 times. Next, we filter the aggregated data to the products that occur at least 1,000 times. We define this condition in the configuration dialog of the DB Row Filter node. We select the Count column in this first menu then the greater than operator in the second menu, and enter 1000 in this field here. The available operators for filtering depend on the column type and database dialect. The filtering condition that we just built is shown here on the left. If we wanted to add a second condition, we would click this Add Condition button and define the second condition in the same way as the first one. If we wanted to make this condition alternative to the first one, we would click this AND item and change it to OR, by clicking this button here. We could also group conditions, corresponding to brackets and formulas, by selecting the condition and then clicking this Add Group button. We've now finished the configuration of the node, so we click OK. Finally, let's filter the original data by the products that are left in the aggregated table. We do this with the DB Joiner node. This node's configuration dialog is also similar to its NIME native counterpart. We select Inner Join as the joining mode product as the joining column, and click OK. 
In this video, we've explained how to access a database table using the DB Table Selector node. We've also shown how to perform data manipulation operations, such as aggregating, filtering, and joining directly on the database using the NIME database nodes. The configuration settings of the nodes are used to build SQL queries in the background to interact with the database.